Curtis tied school record with four sacks, and obviously uh, it looked like you were uh, just feeling it tonight. What, what was it like out there for you? Um, it's electrifying playing behind, um, in front of the Boise fans. Like third down, they get you going, things like that. And then you have the defensive line. We're talking. They they have to count for everybody. So. Um, it's good. We gotta keep moving forward, though. Like we're going into Mountain West now, so that's still our goal up top. We still want to ring. Um, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I didn't even remember high school. Bring up the bad barbie. Yeah. You had, you had one where you missed him twice on one play. Oh. How hard was he to get a hold of that? Give credit. To, um, he's he's it's like Tom and Jerry out there. I looked him in his eyes, and then next thing you know, I don't know where he is. But he's a great athlete. Like we talked about it all week, but we still um, that's the biggest thing. We still got to tackle moving on towards the season. Um. It's just what Coach Meg gave us, giving us the right calls. Coach D telling him what he saw, putting us in the right positions, I felt like. You guys, uh, you know, again, no points in the second half. They, they were getting close the, the, that last yeah. time you were out there. You got the sack that kind of made the field more difficult. How much does that mean to you guys to, to keep that going, that, you know, that second half shutout streak going? As, it's a big thing. Like The attitude changes, you can tell, in the second half. But our number one goal is finding that same attitude to bring to the first half. Uh, my coach Harson says everyone um, puts in the work and deserves to play. So seeing like Dylan go out there, Dimitri, like he's been out there, like just seeing them, like when you see them in practice, they're working hard just like um, everybody else. So seeing them, um, all their work pay off and getting the play on the blue. You mentioned it a little bit, the third downs. Uh, you know, you, you have a big part of that being a pass rusher, but you guys again were really good on that tonight. What, what, what's been the key for you guys to be so good getting those teams off the field? Like we said um, back in the day, it's the money downs. Like when you get money downs, our antennas fly up. I can say, like Coach Matt gives us the call, and all we gotta do is execute. You're obviously uh, you know wanting to kind of deflect the attention back to the team, but I mean four sacks in a game that has gotta mean something to you, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it does. You got David, our grandfather, <laughs> giving me love. It's always good, but at the end of the day, every, um, the whole D line played a whole part of it, like helping me out. We get the one on one matchup. I know that, you know, the final with Spencer, even, even Jabril, you know, they said that, especially Jabril said, you know, challenge you to kind of, you know, continue to grow and be a leader this year. I mean, how, how much do you think you really have started to develop? And, um, I don't know, you, it just seems like playing and play out, you're kind of on a mission. Uh, my biggest thing um, was bringing the energy to the team. I felt like that's what I needed to provide. And you have John Mochon, you have Keikoa, you have David bringing, like, the real leadership. My leadership-wise, I would think, was just bringing the energy and that get the crew pumped up before the game, during um, individual drills, things like that. We were talking with Tyreek, and uh, that quarterback, I mean, he's, he's pretty elusive. I mean, uh, um, how much would he prepare you for another challenge later on down the road? When you're um, the he actually prepared us for next week, looking at a couple clips from number five, I believe. He's, he's an athlete, so we got to account for him. And it's a discipline standpoint. We got to work on tackling this week. You think there, is that a thing that I, mean, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's an issue, but I mean, was, was that something that you noticed that you guys need to clean up? Yeah, tackling is always the biggest issue. If you can take down tackling, then everything else opens up. So we want to. Um, I feel like we should emphasize tackling this week. We don't get to talk to you this week. Uh, you got to prepare for Air Force on the short week, guys. Uh, so they're always a difficult preparation anyway. How much more of a challenge is it getting ready for them for one last day? Give them credit. That, that's probably one of the most disciplined teams in the nation. So we got to bring um, – Coach Harson's going to emphasize the di discipline this week, and we know that, and we know we ha what we have to do. Did you hear they beat a Pac-12 team today? I mean, does that kind of you know, get your attention? Um, I pretty much – I congratulate, like, Mount West teams when they beat – like, it's good when they beat Power 5 teams. Like, it shows as well. We're not no slouches or nothing like that. So every time you see a Mount West team or a group of five team beat a bigger team, like I plot them.